so far in this series we have created an object and list report application in fury using annotations so this is what the application which we have created and uh, in our last video we have converted our list report and object page application to flexible column layout application so this is how it now looks like you can close it and when you click on a line item it will show the details onto the same page and you will also see the airline information on the left hand side so in this video we will be deploying our application to cloud foundry account so for that we need to go to our business application studio and uh, if we look back a little bit then uh, we will be seeing that when we created this application cds annotations we have created it as an MTA project and uh, because of that we got this MTA.yml file and uh, then we have created a module a Fury application module it got created as a module with the name annotations so all of our code and our application is inside this annotation folder this is the module which was got created so now when we want to deploy it this mta.yml file will help us so for that we just need to right click on this yaml file and click on build mta project as soon as you click on the build mta project the process starts and uh, this once this process gets completed it creates an archive folder you will see one new archive folder mta underscore archive and along with this you will see one more files got created here mtar file mtar file so this is the file which will be getting deployed to our cloud foundry so this was the first step right click on the mta.yml file and click on the build mta project once the process gets completed you will see this new folder created and then this is mtar file so now to deploy this file you need to right click this and you need to select deploy mta archive click on this option and again the process will start This will take a couple of minutes and once it is done you will see a message okay so the deployment is now complete once you see this message it means the deployment has been done now let's go to our trial account and uh, see if we get anything new here okay so to see, to see the deployed application you need to go to HTML5 applications and uh, this, this is what the application which we have created CDS annotations if you see here this was the name and uh, this got deployed successfully to execute this application you need to click on this link so click on this link and it will start the execution 
and yes so our application is now deployed on cloud foundry and when you click on this you see the details available click on this all of details are available flights details are available and if you click on this you see the graphs as well one more thing we need to keep in mind i was already logged in into cloud foundry that's why it didn't ask me the id and password but if you are not logged in then as soon as you try to deploy it it will ask you your cloud foundry email id and password and once you provide that after validation it will ask you the destination as well where you want to deploy and uh, so what i mean is it will ask you in which trial account you want to deploy deploy the application and then what is the space where you want to deploy so it will ask you this organization name to validate and then it will also ask you the space where you want to deploy your application so you can probably have multiple of spaces so in whichever space you want to deploy you need to select it so this is how the deployed application looks like and uh, that's it uh, that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing